Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Now I know I already unboxed another Galaxy A03s around seven months ago or so, but that was my dad's phone. Before we get into the unboxing, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to my video. I really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so this is the phone. This is, and let me take this away. So this is the, just like the, this is what it looks like when you first open the box. This is the manual guide. And there's the phone right there. Oh, it also comes with the charger inside. So that's what's in here. So we have the charger right here, and we have the quick start guide. I'll put this back in here. And now I'm gonna put this right here. Hold on, I'm actually gonna open it. So I'm gonna slide this off. So this is very hard to move forward. Okay, finally I took it off. That was legit a workout. But here is the charger and here's the final moment you've all been waiting for, the phone. And here it is. Here is the phone. It has three cameras. Oh, I think Alright, so I think you need to pull, pull these off first. first. So this is the phone, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully it has a charge. It's not turning on, is it like? I don't think it has a charge. I think I need to charge it. Oh, never mind. I was pressing on the volume button, my bad. It's turning on. Welcome, so of course the English is going to be Canadian. I got my SIM, I'm going to insert it. Oh shoot, it fell off, my bad. <laughs> this just popped up, so it says re SIM card detected. Reset your phone to start using your new SIM card. Okay, so I just click reset and it's doing this. Okay, so it's turned on. Okay. Still waiting for it. It's been like two minutes now. So after three minutes, this is what's popping up. Okay, so welcome. Agree to all. Agree. Okay, 
so these are the permissions for Samsung apps and services. So all of this agree. I was a bit scared when it just like froze. I'm glad it came back to life. Go ahead and pick my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the password for my Wi-Fi and I'll be back. Okay, so I just connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Oh. So it's checking for updates right now. So it might take a few minutes. Just first like a size comparison, you can see how it's bigger than my iPhone XR. glad it, it okay so now I'm going to go ahead and go to copy data next use your old device started with this can I like I don't know why the the brightness is so low for me it might not look like that on camera but it's a bit low so I'm trying to like find but you can't swipe down so I'm just gonna go ahead and click next I, I mean allow okay so select a source what's your old Android oh I don't wanna hold on I should just go back and say Because it's saying like it's basically doing like the like the Apple thing like if you want to transfer, but I don't have enough old phones. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick don't copy. I think I should have picked that instead of next. Okay, so check in info. skip this skip skip set up finish And we're in, guys. I'm gonna delete a lot of apps though because a lot of them tend to take too much storage and they're pretty useless. I'm pretty much gonna be using this phone for YouTube. I'm just gonna show you guys the camera, even though I showed you guys what the camera looks like in my other videos. Oh my god, you guys see the brightness, like how low that is? No wonder it was so just like not bright at all. I couldn't even see anything. This is what it looks like, just like through 
it's pretty decent. Look, system, it's not, isn't responding. I'm gonna take some pictures for you guys, just kind of see like my surrounding and whatnot. It's gonna be a picture of me. This is the front camera. So that's pretty much what the camera looks like. I wanna go to the settings real quickly. I don't know if y'all saw that, but it was basically like update your photos. storage it's probably acting weird because i don't have a screen protector on it so it's kind of like i guess like sensing more fingerprints I, i'm not sure i'm gonna reset it after this video and i'm just like reset it real quick because it's a bit laggy but this phone was 200 dollars so it is a very cheap budget phone so like i i'm not really expecting it to be like an iphone for example you know and the fun fact, at the time I'm recording this, is actually Easter. So happy Easter to those who celebrate it. I celebrate it. I'm Christian. Happy Easter to my fellow Christians and whoever celebrates it. Alright, it's back on. But yeah, guys, so this is the phone. But overall, I like the design. It's very sleek. It feels very plasticky. But overall, yeah, this is the phone, and I really like it so far. I'm excited to use this for my YouTube and just editing and just social media in general because, oh, this phone is actually perfect, you know. I've been using this. It's just the storage. And as you guys can see, that is a lot of storage right there. This phone has served me for like three years. It's a good phone. It's just the storage that's kind of like lacking right now. And also I can add a memory card in it, whereas this you can't add a memory card for extra storage. So yeah, that is the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, so that is the end of the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that, watching me unbox it and setting it up. But comment down below what phone you guys have in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications bell so you got notified when i upload a new video and yeah that's all for me today and i'll see you guys in the next video bye